Yes, people, I'm going to give another example of how I managed to live a very fulfilling life until the second miscarriage of justice that has seen me been put in a place where I reach rock bottom, having suicidal thoughts. Yesterday there was another meltdown, and maybe that was the meltdown to help me to realize that no matter what, I need to go on. So I was just there because I remembered how I used to be going out before my husband came here. And I would reach the door and I'd turn around and I'd go check everything. Did I switch off the cooker? Did I lock the door? Did I do this? Did I do that? And then when I reach here, although I know I put the keys in the bag or whatever it was, my bus pass, whatever it was, I would have to see it physically. So I was just stood here doing, going through the same routine. Say, so let me make sure the keys in the bag. Although I might not need the bus pass, just in case I need the bus pass, it's in the bag. But those were the days when I am going to work. And that would be the thing. And if I didn't have the willpower to say, you need to move on, you need to move on, I would not have accomplished what I accomplished. I was stood here getting the camera to record these moments. My husband called me. Where are you going, East Street? Uh, yes. And I said, I have to go see the parent, the mother of the, the children that I volunteer with. She called me to come and visit. And he was very concerned. Mind where you go, it's very windy. <laughs> if I was to listen to him and let my OCD and fear take over, I never leave this house today. I have things to do. And that's all I need people to understand, that I manage. Yeah? I manage until the, the very place that gave me refuge. Housing for women. Yeah, after. has now turned around and making me a victim. Well, housing for women, you're not going to get away with it. When Richard Harty, the ma uh, mastermind of men in childcare, can kick me out of University of East London, said he's done his, he's done his investigation. Now, what investigation did you do, Richard Harty? You're a pedophile. Yeah? You are a pedophile. I done the research, a voice of a child, the same after I done the research with Dr. Maria Hudson, the experience of multiple discrimination. Where is Dr. Juanita Cox? I meet the Reverend Rose Hudson Wilkin at Housing for Women, AGM. That's when I realized I didn't tell her that she, her grandmother and my mother are related. We were raised, yeah, not to succumb or suck up to our son of, to our snobby nose family. I can tell you the history. So all who is telling me not to chat and not to chat is now it's gonna chat. Over and out, housing for women. You're another Grenfell. I adverted a Grenfell tower here. I'm going out. If it's God's will for me to go out and come back safe, it will happen. If it's not God's will, whatever God's will, I will have to accept. Dead or alive, it now is wanted. Dead or alive, the Lord Shafar Iran was a wanted man. Murphy Lee Myers will no be more be a victim of leaf pedophiles and judiciary of England and Wales and criminal justice system and crown prosecution service. Quarry criminals covering hope for pedophiles. Whatever, whatever was a wanted man, whoever, whoever was a wanted woman, now my leaves Myers will be no more wanted woman, no more victim of pedophiles.